Hello, everyone. This is Jeff P. It is April 6, 2019, and we have a continuation of a rip in the Matrix, and it's not going to stop, and it's only going to keep expanding. So, on this channel, I'm going to attempt to explain possibilities and theories why it's happening. And to me, it's the only... Well, there could be other ones, but this is my theory. And it ones that seems to make the most sense to me. So let's now this image here was sent to Mark from Blue Kool Aid. Oh yeah! At the start of the rip, a rip in the matrix. We have dark skies in the middle of the day. This went all the way across the sky. Sinister state captured this on April Fool's Day. Eh. What a day to catch the breaking down of the matrix. And then we're going to show as this rip continued across the sky. And this picture here doesn't even make sense. I mean, how could you have such dark and light contrast beam all the way across the sky? Well, folks, I propose to you that we have a matrix of satellites orbiting around the earth in a geosynchronous orbit that's an orbit where it's always above the same spot of the earth kind of like your satellite network for your tv it's always above you so you take your dish network you point it at that satellite and it's always there at that section of the sky the satellite technicians know this they just find the signal strength and they zoom in on that satellite they point it they're all pointing that same direction because that's where that satellite is thousands of miles out in space and we have i believe a matrix of these and this is the matrix that i'm explaining that's breaking down let's look at some more of this footage and try and explain this matrix that i'm describing a matrix of laser ground facing satellites that orbit the earth that are casting a blue beam laser on the ground <laughs> and this has parent, this has been going on since the 80s. They knew about it. Well, they've been starting to develop it in 1983 since the Ronald Reagan Space Defense Initiative. Remember the SDI? Yeah, they weaponized it all right against us. <laughs> so here's some more footage that we have of this. And then I'm going to explain this technology and why it is that we're seeing these dark beams and... So here's some new footage that came in from some subscribers. Some wish to remain anonymous and some didn't know. So look at this dark, completely dark sky that we have here. I thought that was pretty compelling. I've got uh, some pretty great catches. I want to try and show you the best. So here is a shot of a cam train <laughs> plane covering up this perfectly straight gap dark spot in the in the matrix sky why do you think that is well a theory i have first of all let's look at that okay that is doesn't even look like a chem drill it's just a gap how is it there and look at this plane it's filling in the gap it's chasing after it now many have witnessed that this thing this of this split that occurs across the sky and these planes hurry at spot mock speeds to cover this up no, I used to think that there was some weird lighting issue with, you know, the with the light, that these are shadows from the chemtrails. But clearly, it couldn't possibly be. There is no explanation other than this. And many have touched upon this topic. And uh, so I want to show my explanation of what this, what I think this is. Look at this one. This is Dana from Florida. And many people are witnessing these dark skies. Look at this streak across the sky. And we could see the chemtrail plane that was heading in this direction. We could see the winds are blowing up, still leaving this thing exposed, but they just can't cover it up. And it seems to me that many of these come like from a central point. Like I've shown, and I'm going to show in another video, that we see these 
come off from this from a pivot point down here. Now this one was a yet another one that was caught. It was sent to me from Blue Kool Aid, and look how this thing is bending. That's not even like. You know, it's just a lighting issue, right? It's like stage lights, but the stage lights are, are out in space because it's projecting a blue beam. <laughs> so, to me, it this is Project Blue Beam at its finest. Project Blue Beam, a group of lasers. <laughs> this was, this is just a snapshot out of the scene of Geostorm. More predictive programming that this solar powered laser system an array of these things or aiming at the earth of course in this video they're all tethered together it's in a perfect grid pattern around the earth and they can control storms hey that might very well be the case but i'm just showing you how that visual how how that they're capable of this in fact there's there is a company it's called be i got clipped off it's bae systems technologies the laser deployment for atmospheric lens this could very well be this laser projection is in high high altitude it could very easily be a satellite as well an array of these things they use a very f powerful femto laser that ionizes the air creating an atmospheric plasma lens and it literally acts as a lens. And in this clip here, from this company who has developed it, the military is probably most likely using it to spy on us. And heck, they can actually take these lenses and refocus their space lasers to hit their target from anywhere they want, like we see saw in the other fires. <laughs> so... In this shot, you can see the laser. This this ship is creates a plasma lens, diffusing the diffusing the laser attack from the ground based weapons, and <laughs> that just shows some of the possibilities of how this technology works. So we also uh, saw some more predictive programming from Chicken Little movie clip: how the sky basically rips apart, and to create this illusion of not having dark skies above us, they have to scan the blue light onto our atmosphere, onto the chemtrails, the barium, the strontium, and aluminum, and all that, to create this illusion. This, so it's kind of like a break in the matrix. It breaks down. They know it's going to come, so they turn off, decloak all their ships, and they come and invade it. Project Blue Beam. And then the U.S. Yo's, <laughs> the UFOs, you know, all come down and start attacking everyone, right? And then the whole world will unite, put aside their nuclear weapons and join the new world order and their new government because we have to join forces and put aside our political differences and boundaries and just join one big continent. And now the one world leader, the Antichrist, to take over. <laughs> That's pretty much it, man. That's kind of how it's going down. So I got another cool video from a subscriber sent me this footage of this chemtrail plane chasing after the crack in the matrix to cover it up. <laughs> and here we can see right here, look at it opening up right in front of the plane. And you know, from the viewer, look at this thing, is watching it crack open. Folks, this is what we really have to keep an eye on that. I, I would like to see that zoomed in, Keep your camera on it. This will continue to crack across the sky until the evidence is no longer compelling, but that is pretty epic. And here we can see that this isn't even... <laughs> yeah. You, you just need to see that, that there's no explanation for that other than this break in the mix. This darkness that we see in the sky. MB3 had captured this too. Let's go visit his channel. And also thanks to Blue Kool-Aid, who has brought this to light. Thanks to some of the videos that he's been sent as well. We're all teaming up on this. And I hope to do another live stream with him. And only him. So let's check this out. Okay, so MB3's captured this too. He's getting all this. He offers an explanation 
and yeah, I'm just going to give you mine with the lasers right? because we know the Project Blue Beam is very real. And what are they doing with these blue beams, right? Casting a here's some of the most epic shots that we see. Look at the blue dark sky way above the top of this cloud. So we know that it's not casting a shadow just because of this cloud. It's clear to the skies. Look how this is all white. And we get this one that he caught. Total break. Absolutely makes no sense. Look how this thing has opened up the skies, this projection system. And I think that when these planetary bodies come in, they push these out of their scan zone and just cause this opening of the matrix, whether it's pulled or pushed away from its orbit and causing this break. And here we can see a complete break in the sky. And it seems like there's two main arrays, each one on a side. Let me show you what I mean by this. Let's go back. What it, This is what I think is happening. So here we have an eclipse. This is a normal solar eclipse. The moon gets in the path and the sun, and then it casts a shadow on the, on the Earth. But if this was to be like Planet X, the red Kachina, blue Kachina, and this thing passes through, or it doesn't have to even be an eclipse. It can be over here and still cast a shadow. Well, all they really have to do is put a, a set of Blu-ray Earth-facing lasers and re just rescan this out with, with lasers, satellite-based lasers, outside of the eclipse. Or, shoot, it could be inside the eclipse, actually. So they, could, they just wouldn't be powered by the sun. I think it'd be, they'd probably have them in a little higher orbit outside of this, this shaded area here that we see. And that's why are we always seeing such huge contrast? And why is it like the sky like looks split? Absolutely crazy, right? This, how does like the clouds just stop abruptly unless the scan, and look how dark it is. Impossible. There's a lot of impossibilities unless you put, there are some stage lights up there. I'm calling them satellites. So thanks to uh, Blue Kool-Aid, we're showing some just com total impossibilities that, that here we have the sun right here, right next to this dark blue sky. I mean, if the sun is in the blue sky, it should be like a light blue. It isn't until dark blue until the sunset. For example, when the sun's rising, we have a blue, light blue sky. On the other side of the sky, it's dark blue. And as it passes over the sun, as the sun passes over the sky, we look where the sun set, we have the light blue sky. And look at the other side of this, the opposite side of the sky, it's turning dark. But to see the dark sky side <laughs> near the sun, we've got problems. We got some serious stage lights, satellites. When I call them lights or lasers, okay? I'm just helping you to visualize what, what this is. So... I hope this helps to further explain the matrix. Keep your photos coming in. But look at that how that plane is just racing to cover up this gap. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's pretty wild, isn't it? And here, it, you're like too late. And sometimes what planes will do is trying to close the gap from each side of this gap as it opens up. And there's a grid array. There's the main gap, like the left and right side of this thing. Then it's like, it seems to be a grid of these things. So that's why we see chemtrail planes most of the time creating the grid pattern above us. And I think that grid is literally hiding where these gaps are at. Yeah. Thank you again for sending me all this. these pictures. Keep them coming. Uh, videos are more compelling, especially if you're catching these planes in the very act of trying to cover up this 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 breakdown, this lighting issue that they're having, this this it's like our entire sky is a giant movie theater screen, literally. But the projectors are out in space. It's the only way they could do it. The only one that makes sense. And the reason I say it's the only one, because if we had ground-based lasers, there'd always be a disruption in that beam, right? There would, as it 
if we had ground-based blue lasers, we'd first of all, we'd see them. And second, planes and objects would always break that beam. And there would be instant break in the matrix. It's got to be in the safe, controlled environment of space where mankind can't go and disrupt it, throw another laser in front of it and break this matrix down. And here is that footage I showed you before. This is what we look for. Look at the clean breaks. And look how they're going from a central point. Wow. Thank you. That was really just awesome. Because that one, two, three, almost at the exact same angle that we saw from a break that we saw in this snapshot from a Facebook account, the same angles. This here, was that was some wild footage. It's on a viral hogs have held this thing hostage, so I can't show you the video clip on it, but it was pretty awesome when this thing broke down as well. So please copy, like, and share this video, and I hope this brings a little clear understanding what we're seeing in the skies. And get your cameras out. Let's zoom in on this and catch this split in the sky because it's only getting worse. It's going to break open. And one more thing. this When this thing fully does break down, I'm convinced this is just a mild breakdown. What blue Kool-Aid caught, this is when it really has a serious breakdown. When we see the start of the rip, and it literally goes across the sky. Okay, this is when it gets really dramatic. Next to the sun, total light and darkness. And when that thing opens up, I'm. it's just like the skies we're going to see. When the satellites get disrupted, they can't hit this beam or it's pulled away from, scan, from its little scan area. It's like a matrix. Each satellite can create a large movie screen and they weave these things together. They might even overlap. This is where I think if they get pulled out or shut down because of this incoming body, that this crack just like opens up. They're actually probably the second sun in here. But we're going to see the skies as they really are. And I honestly believe many have had visions of this thing, main left and right matrix. When this thing opens up, it's going to be like this red, orangish rainbow that goes straight all the way across the sky. And that's the day this thing is just about to rip open. We like wonder they got like two days. They're already be in their bunkers when that happens. That's how close this thing is. So that's what I'm looking for is to start seeing the red light of the planet the Katrina. I'm not yeah, Kachina and the red tail, the red iron oxide dust tail of Planet X itself. So please copy, like, and share this video. Have a blessed day.